Shout out to Shawty 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 I got some new neighbor boys, and I think they're of a same-sex marriage. Because it's two men, and uh, they, they're the real thin, young, muscular men, and, what, and they wear them white beater shirts, you know, they both got these tans on, they got their little earring on, and uh, their hair is just did too perfect, and girls from across the street, it looks like one of them girls plucked into their eyebrows. And uh, I said, Lord, we done got some punk flew up in here. Girl, what, 10 minutes later, they point to throw the rainbow flag up. I said, you go, girl. I went over there and met their boys. And of course, they named for something like Joshua or uh, some Taylor or some, you know, they make up these artificial names for these men these days. I said, how y'all boys doing? They say, all right. They say they would just set up their AOL. I said, is y'all men's for men? They said, oh, I said, Lord, I said, is y'all, is y'all married, is y'all a husband? They said, no, they said it wasn't nothing like that. They said it was sisters. <laughs> I said, oh, okay, well, I have a sister too. Her name is Barbecue Liquor, and we get along pretty good. So the only thing that bothered me about having these punks over here is they done put out flowers in their yard trying to show me out. <laughs> I don't see no harm in it, but uh, to me, it sounds ignorant. <laughs> Quit, how you doing? <laughs> no, that's right. Lord, we had a ruckus went on last night down here. Loud banging noises and everything. Screaming and hollering, woke everybody up. What that was? And I uh, come to find out, look out the window, there was a prostitute out there. Miss <laughs> Ron. And she was uh, uh, busted for undercover oh. uh, Viceroy or something, they oh, told her. And uh, oh, she was mad because she had just got her some new crack and she was hollering. I mean, she was happy. Mm. Oh, Before the police happy. came out there, she was preaching pretty good. Yeah, all right. But that's how it happened down here. People trying to make a living. Mm -hmm. And uh, it always be somebody undercover. Sure. That That's who get involved and run everything. Cameras over people. They have run most stuff down here behind undercover. Yeah. Ooh, I hate that. It be done got to the point now mm -hmm. that I be looking around my house all the time for hidden surveillance cameras. Yeah. I always right. feel like... Uh, with that song with somebody watching me. Yes, Lord. You know? It's, it, it, government is very intrusitory. No, and no. I don't think that's right. Mm -mm. What's wrong? Oh, well. <laughs> uh. Oh, I'm so aggravated. You know, I just got back from Kmart. I had to run down there and get me some toilet paper. And, you know, we go through a nine roll a day over here with 19 kids. Good. Like, plus company. Shoes. I had to give me some toilet paper. I was all out of Pepsi Cola. I had to give me some spray for my house for them roaches that got crawling up in there. I had to give me some x lax Well, I go for correct all, because that's more for a lady. What else? I had to get denture adhesives and uh, some uh, pickles. They got them new big pickles now for putting on your hamburger. Them is good. Ooh, them taste good. You put your mornails on right on top of it, they go up in there. And mustards. Anyway, what I to, oh, in that Kmart, the line was long. Hey, long line didn't have but one girl up there checking. She is must have been a trainee. You could tell she didn't know what she's doing. We her blank stare and her bad attitude. Sitting there uh, just very slowly. You could tell she was trying to intimidate her customer because she would take one can, slide it over that thing, and it would deepen and she set it down. And then she take she was just trying to prove a point that she was gonna take her time and then nobody was gonna mess with her or force her to do nothing fast. Oh, I, my blood was just boiling over. I, you know, I have high blood anyway. And I could just feel my face flushing. Couldn't see it, but I could feel it. Finally, I got up there and I said, girl, I said, you better light a fire in your ass. I said, you going to put this place out of business. I said, where's your manager at? She said she was the manager. I said, excuse me, she said, according to the Constitution of Kmart, when the manager not in the building, I automatically becomes the manager. So she going to pull a constitutional amendment on me. And hell, I didn't know Kmart was that organized. <laughs> you, it, well, you never know it. Oh, well, I guess I just might as well go home and enjoy my turnitures. That's all you can do. You can't do that. Tell your mama that I need to go shopping with her next week. Next week we're going to Walmart. 